London is one of the great financial centres of the world. We're standing here in Canary Wharf, which is the new annex which has been built to accommodate the growth of London's financial services business. Behind me, you can see the London offices of HSBC and of Citigroup, two of the world's largest financial institutions. Just beneath that HSBC tower, there is the, the Financial Conduct Authority, which regulates financial services in Britain. And behind HSBC, there is the London office of KPMG, the international accounting firm, with much of whose work is concerned with the financial services industry. London is the largest centre for trading and foreign exchange. But the total volume of trading in foreign exchange is 75 times the total volume of global trade in goods and services. The vast bulk of this trade, in fact, occurs within the financial sector itself. The total volume of assets subject to derivative contracts is about three times the value of all the assets of any kind anywhere in the world. And most of the trading on the London and New York stock exchanges is now accounted for by high-speed or high-frequency trading. High-frequency trading occurs so quickly and the intervals in which trade takes place are so short that it can't be done by humans. The time intervals are too short and it's undertaken by computers which trade with each other. What is it all for? What is the purpose of this activity? And why is it so profitable? After all, common sense suggests that if people in these offices spend all day trading bits of paper with each other, the amount of money they'll have at the end of the day will be rather similar to the amount of money which they had at the beginning. And yet we know it is very profitable, or at any rate, it's very rewarding for the people who work here. The people who work in these offices are some of the best paid people in the country, indeed some of the best paid people in the world. These are some of the questions I set out to answer in other people's money. And I'll conclude that some of the profitability of the financial sector is illusory, and that some of it actually represents an appropriation of wealth that is created somewhere else in the economy. I'll suggest that some of the things that the financial sector currently does do not need to be done, and that some of the things that do need to be done are not currently being done or done well by the sector. Modern economies need finance. We need a financial system to help us manage our payments, to help us transfer wealth over our lifetime and between generations. We need a financial system to help us manage risk, and we need a financial system to allocate capital. But the financial system we've created today is much larger and much more complex and much less robust than would be needed to achieve these purposes. In other people's money, I explain how we can get a financial system better adapted to the real needs of the real economy.